so I am about to buy the plane. Um, the highest, by the way. It's a beautiful, beautiful sight behind it. The colour of the sky is gorgeous. Look at that. Uh, and we're going to go. Uh, I'm going to Stockholm. That's what we're flying to. Uh, look at that sky. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. Eric's uh, in the queue uh, up front. Um, you can see I've priority board him. So I will um, let you know I'm going. Uh, Stockholm bound. So, touched down in Stockholm. Um, it's quite a long journey actually. Uh, with this one, look at that, it's a good lighting, isn't it? Huh? Uh, we're having a, you've said miso soup? Yeah. And Eric said some sushi. Oh, I was having some sushi. Yeah. I've got a uh, chicken pad thai. We're in a Thai restaurant right next to the Stockholm main train station. What we have next? Uh, dollar. Yeah. We're gonna go see Eric's family and I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm also looking forward to seeing what it looks like. I said in spring earlier, I meant autumn. I was just uh, five, six months out of the way, mate. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what it's like uh, with autumn leaves. Yeah, ooh, that looks nice. Au autumn leaves everywhere. Is it gonna be like brown and yellowy and colourful? I hope so. Bring it on. Looking forward to seeing without snow. <laughs> See you there. So that was a very nice uh, Thai meal. I'm totally full. Um, we're outside uh, Central Station and um, we're just having a little bit of fresh air before we get on the, oh, I want to say plane, on the train. Um, we're going to head up to Mubra. And then uh, Eric's mum and Nils are going to come and pick us up and we're going to go to Evisberg. I'm excited. I want to see it. Some of the few bags there. So yeah, see you in a bit. Good morning. morning. Um, I'm not sure if I posted it or not, but that was a nice view to wake up to. Uh, woke up, opened the curtains, and then just saw this beautiful lake behind me. Look at that. So obviously you probably saw my old uh, vlog before when I was here at Christmas. That was a frozen lake we were walking in the middle of. Last night I said to Eric, oh, do you know what? I thought to myself, I'll go out and take stand in the middle of the lake and take a picture of the stars. I was like, that might be a bit hard, Lee. <laughs> it's water. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, wow, what a different experience. Uh, this is obviously what you see, um, I don't know, 10 months out of the year? It's frozen for a couple of months, maybe? Yeah, from, I don't know, December to... March, maybe? April, maybe. Wow, yeah, yeah, so it's frozen for quite a few months. Oh, it's amazing. So we're going to go on a hike around the mountain, yeah, around the hills. Yeah, we're gonna go for a little drive and then we're gonna walk up. Taking a nice picture of uh, and take some nice views, see what happens. Taking the taking a bit of Svarie, loving it. Welcome to the hike. So we are now hiking in the beautiful little area that we are here. There's like lingonberries and blueberries everywhere, and this is. Huge ant's nest here, right? And Eric's just told me a very... Well, it's, well yeah, for me it's big. Eric's like it's a tiny little ant's nest. But Eric just told me a fact about it. That, that part there that I'm pointing at right now is facing south 
because apparently they deem, oh, whether it's the sun or whatever, but they need that part to face south. So if you're ever lost in the woods and you don't know whichever way you are going, you just look at that and think, right, okay, so if we get that behind me, I am now facing south. Interesting, I like it. Survival techniques from yeah, Eric. Survival. You need to know how to survive in this place. It's amazing. Um, yeah, this is absolutely wonderful. So we're having a little ramble. Uh, there's blueberries, I don't know if you can, wait, I'll show you. I can't, I'll, I'll take a picture, it's easier. But there's blueberries and lingonberries everywhere. It's amazing. Love and love. Now that's a bigger one. <laughs> I was like, look at this big ant's nest. I was like, that's a lot bigger. That's a huge, a massive, huge, giant, whack off ant's nest. Um, we're having a walk through the woods. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, you know, some big year off, they're like, like a beast, they're off, they're loving it. And we are, um, uh, they, they say that obviously there are wild bear, wild moose that obviously walk through here. And I'm like, wild bear? Like, ligers, lions and tigers and bears. <laughs> Oh my. Um, but yeah, there's like, yeah, yeah, just, just make sure you don't get between a bear and its baby because it might rip your face off. <laughs> um, wow, it's amazing. It's so beautiful. We're in the nature. Yeah, anything to add, Eric? It's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's a beautiful day. It's not too cold. Um, nice and really beautiful fresh air, which I definitely need. Hopefully, I'll come back and I'll look like a Swedish beauty. So we have reached the summit. Hey, so we have got here, we got Biggie and Nils, and obviously Eric and me. Uh, and we have reached the summit of uh, the hill, which is what we said we were gonna climb just close to where uh, Biggie and Nils live. Uh, their house is just literally on the lake down here at the bottom. And we came for a drive around, around the back and then walked up to where we are now. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. And the air is really fresh. It's like you can feel super fresh air, it's nice. It's 520 meters over the sea. Oh wow, 520, 520 meters above sea level, that's amazing. Yeah, you can tell, you can feel the fresh air in there. Yeah, and I've been eating wild blueberries and lingonberries. I must admit the blueberries are nicer than the lingonberries when they're wild. The lingonberries nice as a sauce, uh, but I prefer the blueberries to eat as they are. Yeah, loving life. Yeah, keep you posted folks. <laughs> So now I am having a coffee, which Biggie got me, uh, she brought me in this, which is a really cool little device. It's got sugar lumps in it, which is amazing. Uh, and she brought a spoon for me as well. So she's thinking really carefully about me having sugar and milk in my coffee. Uh, and we've got some Kavelgreis, which is bread uh, that um, Nils and Biggie make. Uh, 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 when, what, when, what month do you make it? What, what, when is it you start making it? Um, all year round, I think. I think all year round, yeah. yeah? And they make it themselves and it's so, so tasty. It's really nice with some butter and it's nice with a nice coffee at the top of a mountain. So we're just having a fika. Yeah, this is fika. Yeah, yeah loving it. This is my first ever official fika. <laughs> Congratulations. Ah, uh, yeah. So we've just got back yeah. uh, to Eric's parents' place. Look at this. This is where they live. And we are currently on a jetty, which looks out to the lake. Um, oh, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? We used to skate here a couple of months ago. Yeah, I was skating on this, like, literally, like, how many, oh, six months ago? No, eight months ago, skating my yeah. little head off around here. Loved it. Uh, so, yeah, we're on the jetty. It's a bit wobbly, isn't it? It's like, woo! Uh, and the house behind us. Uh, I'm going to take you on a little journey, on a little trip. So, we're going to this way. Come on, Eric, show me. Show me the way. So, this way. Well, I'll show Eric the way. <laughs> so... We were, well, look at this little place here. Look how cute this is. It's just so gorgeous. It's like, let's stop and have fika down here one day. Yeah? Ooh, loving it. We came, but we had some toasties in there, didn't we? Yeah. We had some toasties and yeah. some, what else did we eat? We had some toasties and some drinks and stuff in there, didn't we? Coffee and yeah. yeah. Fika in the snow. Yeah, it's a nice place to sit. You're going to do it next summer. Yeah. House up there, look, main house. It's our little path. Oh, yeah. Little journey. I did this in the snow, didn't I, Eric? But that, what's that's a sauna, right? Yeah. Right there. Sauna. All loving it. Um, imagine if you kind of like took someone's leg off with a saw, you'd say, a sauna. We'll show you, we'll show you the, um, what we used with the fridge before we had electricity. 
Yeah. Okay, so let me see. So you used to use this as a fridge over here? Well, like a storage place because it's the coolest place. Yeah. Oh, cool. Look. Oh. Oh my god, love it. Look here. Oh my god, yeah, it's cooler in there than it is out here. It's a little storage place for cool. Outdoor fridge, looks like a larder. Love it. It's god. Well, it's just, we're just showing them the larder, the fridge, Nils, the outdoor fridge. A little tall. Litton, the last time I came here with Nils, he was digging a giant hole in the snow and we went fishing. You remember? Yeah. yeah. Now we're just having a breath of fresh air. We just had some feed come. We're going to have some lunch in a bit, yeah? It's gorgeous. It's uh, what, what, what would that mean? What would that mean, Nils? Meat. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Sounds good to me. It's, uh, it's soup with vegetables and uh, meat. Ready for that, ready for that, all over it, loving it. Look, mushrooms growing in the ground. Apparently you're not allowed to eat those though, they're dangerous. Um, yeah, let me know you can What a beautiful place, eh? This is my Lyric's little pad right there. Yeah. Anything to add? Uh, should we show them also what we used as the toilet but before we had the Yes, come on, toilet. take us to the toilet, Eric. Come on, let's take me to the toilet. <laughs> so look. The outdoor dunny. Yeah, it was very, very nice when it's minus 30 degrees and you have to go out here. But it's quite cute in here. Oh, it's cute, little. I like that. I like the man on the violin. It's like playing you some music while you're freezing your knickers off. Yeah. Stuck to the, stuck to the pot at minus 30 degrees outside. Oh my God, that must have been awful, Eric. <laughs> Oh, but you were the one that found the water, right? The mains water. Yeah. Is that the, is that is that what helped everything become possible? Like obviously in darts with the running water. Mm. Such a clever devil. She just uses a stick. Let's see if we can find like one. Like oh, I like it. Let's see if we can do that. <laughs> anyway, that's Eric's awesome place. Well, we're on it. Uh, Nils has just decided to show me his prize turnip. Uh, it is massive. So we've got. That's a normal turnip, right? <laughs> and then we got burp, 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 boom! Look at the beast on that. That'll feed us. How long? How long do you think that will feed us for, Nils? That will feed you for quite a while, right? A lot of meals and soups out of yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, good. Loving it. Super turnip. I love a good turnip. My mum will promise you that. When I was a kid, my brothers always ate the vegetables, and I was the one that loved a good bit of raw turnip. Ooh, yeah. It's nice soft enough. So now, after a lovely little ramble in the woods and the hills, and a walk around the house when we got back, um, we have got some amazing lunch made by Biggie and B Biggie and Nils. Both of you made this? Yeah? Yeah, it's no, absolutely... Most Biggie, not so much. Ah, okay, I like it. So we've got, what we've got, Eric? What's on the menu? It's called Subatan. Subatan. Yeah. yeah. It's like traditional from this area. And it's basically got something that's like a dumpling in it with like, what's it made with? Flour and suet or what's it made with? Flour and salt. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And it's uh, got mousse in it as well, mousse meat, yeah? Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm gonna take a picture of the plate. Uh, but yeah, um, in Swedish they say, smagli multig. Yeah. Yeah. Which means cheers, or not cheers, it means enjoy your meal, bon appetit. So, as you saw before, see you later. So, the ladies are going out. So, just we, we, we just had um, bye bye. We had um, a fika uh, after we had some lunch uh, with coffee and some Eric's house shot there. This is <laughs> all going wrong. So, basically, I wanted to show this because we've just been to Eric's Aunt Avia's house, which is uh, his mum's sister. And the house is like just literally unbelievable. It's so beautiful inside. Uh, the ladies are going out to a dinner dance kind of show. Uh, and just the view of the place from here is incredible. 
Uh, just it's right on the river. I'm gonna go just have a little walk down to the, the river area here um, and just show you the view of the, the river. You can see all the, like, the colors of the trees as well. It's down there. It's beautiful. I love it. It's just nice. Anything to add, Eric? Oh, it's a really nice view from here. It's, it's just... Um, yeah, the river, and it's basically like a lake down here after they built the dam further down. So, yeah. So that's why the river is wider here than it's usually. And we were here, it, we were in winter, and we were stood on the dam really close to here, weren't we? We were just down there. Yeah. Um, that's on my winter vlog when I was here, but obviously, I mean, we just zoomed past this house. Uh, when we came before but it's an incredible beautiful house we've just been able to look around inside and at Christina's um, Eric's cousin's um, apartment upstairs as well she's got her own living quarters upstairs it, it, it's just unbelievable and I have I... a little story to tell about this uh, place when I was a child okay uh, I was here with my mom and my aunt and my grandma and uh, all of a sudden I was uh, gone they couldn't find me anywhere and my my grandma was panicking then she was always very dramatic about everything so <laughs> she was absolutely convinced that I went down to the river and drowned <laughs> that was her first uh, like uh, immediate worry immediate worry it's very very steep down there it's not really easy to get down there so. and, and to get out of there yeah. it's impossible but I locked myself in the living room in the house <laughs> So, well, I'm glad you, your was grandma safe. was. I'm glad but your grandma I, I, was. I, well. I didn't respond to anyone who was calling for me, and I was just like being silly. <laughs> it's but just they found I me in the living room after, <laughs> after panicking the, the whole of the family. The whole village is out looking for you in the river. They got scuba divers in there. The works <laughs> now, but I can imagine if you fall in there with it, with it being steep, you can't get back out. So she was worried. Wow, I like that story. Uh, and I like this house, it's amazing, I love it. Oh my God, wow, it just keeps, it's like, um, in general, w w what's this place we are now called? Uh, Gosvarv. This is Gosvarv, um, but it's next door to the main village, which is? Elvdalen. Elvdalen. Yeah. It's just like the gift that keeps on giving all the way around here, it's just beautiful, one beautiful place after another. And it's all this one's, love it. We are driving back in the car to see Eric's dad. We just dropped um, his mum and his aunt, well, his mum and his uh, stepmom off at his aunt's house. Yeah. Uh, we need to do a bit of shopping for some alcohol, and now we're going to go see Ula, Eric's dad, and have a bit of a boys' night in just for a few beers and see his dad, and then back home. So, yeah, just loving this driving around in these beautiful parts. Such a nice view everywhere you go, it's like green, orange reddish leaves let the autumnal feel coming in different to when we last came so now we just arrived at uh, eric's dad's house which is where we grew up it's absolutely beautiful i've been here obviously in winter and it was really really nice and white and gorgeous now it's all light uh well it's, the sun's going down a bit but yeah um there's a place where they rent out um just people can come and stay uh, and obviously this is the main house in the garage and this one here this gorgeous beast um bring back any memories darling oh yeah yeah grew up here didn't you yeah, I did. it's amazing it's yeah, like it is, yeah. such a beautiful place in the garden which i'm about to show you is that is, are they your dad's buildings as well that, they, they, that one in that red house. this yeah. this one here's here yeah? yeah so this one and the red houses but that one behind now it's amazing, there's so many buildings. It's like there's that many buildings and garden to maintain. The garden is massive. Um, it's just like one beautiful like piece of land after another. Um, I don't know if you can see everything, obviously, on the vlog. I'm trying to get it all on. There's some gorgeous looking plants. Um, such a well-kept garden. They must spend a lot of time in here, Eric. Oh, yes. Uh, your dad and Annalie, like, they, they devote a lot of the time to like landscaping and planting and each single, you know, every single little, there's like every, like, um, what's it called? Like a border. Uh, there's loads and loads of different parts to it. It's gorgeous. Um, looking completely different in winter. But just look. I love how they've all got a little 3D flag coming off the flat of their house as well. It's really cute. What a beautiful, beautiful home. Uh, what a beautiful place to call home as well. Do you know what I mean? You can always say this is your home. It's like a bit different to Willow Park, where I came from. <laughs> but still, 
Very, 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 very beautiful. Love it. Gorgeous. Loving life. Let's go in and see Ula. Yeah. So I kind of stopped filming a bit prematurely because there's so much more to this garden. It's unbelievable. I just wanted to show you it. There's so many beautiful plants everywhere. Everywhere you go, there's like a different section of plants where Annalie, uh, Eric's stepmom's planted. Just a little, take you a little, little walk around me through the little, it's like a little Japanese inspired garden just behind me. Loads of little things going on. Um, there's loads and loads of individually planted um, places for well, there's like boxes and plants and it's amazing borders. Um, this is there's this one here, like easterly, this gorgeous one. There's trees and then they've got this, this is the place for the dog and it can obviously stay inside and outside in winter so it can keep warm and be self-sufficient. And here they've got a vegetable patch garden. It's just unbelievable. It's like one little secret after another. Um, God, it's amazing. And when I retire, babe, I want something like this. We're gonna make vegetables and then make loads of soup. Well, tell you what, maybe I'll do the green finger bit and you do the cooking. Or all the way around, I like to cook. I'm not gonna plant, they all die. But yeah, gorgeous. Carrots, you can see them. You can see these little carrots here. Um, what else do you say was in there? Leeks, yeah. Some leeks there, look. Love it. Gorgeous, just gorgeous, just 